right there, YouTube, it is Krakoon again, bringing you another gameplay. <laughs> Comments every man, and oh, you look at this, man. Modern Warfare 2, y'all know how it is, and I'm not gonna lie, this isn't the bestest gameplay. Bestest? That's not even a word. This isn't the best gameplay I've got, but I decided to bring you this one today because, I don't know, you've got to take it for what it is, man. P90 silence, rushing about the place, making off on vacant, and... I don't know, man, like I've been saying, I've been playing Modern Warfare 2 a lot more recently, and uh, one of us, well, not one of my subs, this guy that I know on YouTube, Benty2529 or whatever, but uh, you all know what it is, he said this uh, pretty interesting thought to me, and I kind of already thought about it before, but basically, what I was thinking here is that, well, no, the way I explained it was that people, oh, like the whole COD community, right, every year gets a new game. Each and every year, the majority of them move on to the new game, right? I.e. being this year Black Ops, last year was Modern Warfare 2. So everybody leaves Modern Warfare 2. And then essentially all the hardcore newbie players, the shit players essentially, are going to move over to the next game because they can be shit in any game. It doesn't matter to them. They'll just fucking go with the flow and what's recent and everything. And it's kind of interesting how it works like that, but... Essentially, that being said, when you come back to Modern Warfare 2 now, except for when bullshit like this fucking happens, and obviously Second Chance is still alive, and I don't fucking still disapprove dramatically, but when shit like, when this fucking, when you go back to Modern Warfare 2 now after pay, playing Black Ops constantly like I have, then you'll understand, like, the differences in, like, the game and how players react within the game and stuff and essentially it's almost as if i've come back to the game and it was like it's only just been released if you know what i'm saying because i haven't played it for so long except when i got a nuke for lgu and then like i've come back to it now and i've actually started to properly play it and i fucking like realized the whole other value to the game and everything and i don't know it still brings me back to the kind of the point about uh connection issues and everything how people are complaining about it a lot more in black ops but i don't know man complainers are gonna complain and i know i've recently i have stated quite a few times about black ops and how it is a dependency upon a good connection that you have fun within the game so i have said that but i'm not contradicting myself because i do believe modern warfare i, was, I do believe modern warfare 2 is a good old game. I don't know why I did it in that voice then, but it's like when I said I do believe it sounded like a proper preaching kind of shit. Fuck it, but you all know what I mean. It's like the whole fact is that with Modern Warfare 2 and it like being out for a year now, and then everybody's kind of stepped back from it. I mean, like shit like that. I don't know. It just doesn't seem to happen in Black Ops where you'll run around a corner and then somebody else won't be camping in the corner around the next. No, wait. You run up to a corner and then instead of somebody being around the corner camping, you'll get a guy come round and he'll dive about the place and he'll jump through the air and you'll get some mad spraying him and shit like that. And I don't know, maybe it's just the way the games are built with more of a Black Ops being a defensive game, even though it says it's not. And then, uh, as you see there, it's kind of like fist is kind of patented dip move, you know what I'm saying, where you stop and look at a while and then turn around and blast a motherfucker. But, I don't know, using Fist is pet, right, but fucking, you understand what I'm saying, I'm like, it's the whole concept of how maybe Infinity Ward has developed their game to be more of a rushing, because I understand how it probably, well no, it obviously takes less, uh, you can obviously take less bullet damage before you die in Modern Warfare 2, that's why it's a lot quicker, but when you watch some of the kill cams and everything, and you see like the host, like, no, when you see like the connection difference between the two kill cams, then it's interesting because I've had many, many times I've been about two meters behind a corner, like a solid brick corner, like no way of him shooting through it. I'll watch the kill cam, he'll shoot up to the corner, and he would have already killed me, but because maybe it's just all so much faster within a uh, within my Infinity Ward's game. I, I don't want to say Infinity Ward's game, I'm going to say Modern Warfare 2 because. COD 4 was kind of the same kind of fast pacedness, but we don't know what in, uh, Modern Warfare 3 is going to be like, so. Like, Infinity War develops their games so much more for a run and gun playstyle. That's why I've kind of got a bit more faith for Modern Warfare 3 and everything, so. I don't know if the game ends up like it does end up in a. 
in Modern Warfare 3, how it ended up in Modern Warfare 2. I think it's just going to come a, a drop again, and then, then maybe will be the time to go back to Black Ops. But I don't know, like at the moment, like I've been saying, man, I fucking, I don't want to keep on boasting on about Modern Warfare 2 like I'm a fucking card fanboy or some shit like that, man. But I'm just saying it as in like a gamer perspective. Uh, get my words out, as in a gamer perspective and you go back to the game and it seems more fun and I was trying to explain it, I might have not done a pretty good job but you take it for what it was, P90 silenced and uh, anyway, peace!